Right, finally, I start to realize why do we even need to use environment variables in our projects instead of just putting the strings into a source code directly? Well, uh, the answer is like it will be messed up when you change your environments, when you uh, go from your local host to production server or another server, right? Uh, well, I've been using uh, environment variables for about three months and I actually always ask this question to myself, man, why, why do we even use to, need to use this environment variables, right? And now I start to realize it, like, really, um, now I'm trying to deploy my Nest.js application to AWS EC2 instance and, like, I developed this application, SES application in my local environment and I set up a local MongoDB database and I connect to this local database and I use the local host in the connection string. Uh, I didn't use any uh, environment variables so now in the production in order to connect to the database that I installed in the in this production server I need to go to the uh, app.module.ts file for this uh, in this case and change the connection string from localhost to the production server host which is like kind of uh, intimidating right uh, and imagine that there are a lot of different configuration stuff similar to database connection right Wh what would you do right <laughs> so like it's really boring and unnecessarily hard to go there and change all of them in uh, different files in your source code Instead, what you would do is create a file, .env file for environment variables, and put all the variables to this file and configure this file in your source code. So uh, you can put uh, your uh, connection string to the connect method of your database from this environment variables, right? And when you switch from localhost to server, production server, you can basically go to environment variables file and uh, change the localhost connection string to uh, this particular uh, production server IP like quickly, right? And it applies to all their configuration files. Like basically you can control all your variables, environment configuration variables from one file. That's the thing, right? That's what makes it easy for us. That's the whole thing, right? Application often run in different environments. Let's read that thing as well. That's what uh, enables us, enable me to understand the topic because, right? Applications often run in a different environments. Depending on the environment, different configuration settings should be used. For example, usually the local environment relies on specific database credentials. Right, as I said, <laughs> valid only for the local DB instance. The production environment would use a separate set of DB credentials. Since configuration variables change, best practice is to store configuration variables in the environment. Externally defined environment variables are visible inside Node.js through the process.env global. We could try to solve the problem of multiple environment environments by setting the environment variable separately in each environment. This can quickly get unwieldy, especially in the development and testing environments. And blah blah, so on and so forth, right? And the point here that I want to point out is best practice is to store uh, configuration variables in the environment. This is not a necessary thing. You can uh, you you don't have to do that, right? There's no such a thing like necessary, right? This is not a must, right? You can do it or not, it's up to you. But it is best practice to use configuration variables uh, in a file instead of just putting plain text into your uh, stuff, right? Into the source code. And as I said, that basically enables you to control your variables, environment variables, much easily when you change your environment. That's the whole thing. Uh, I'm just keep learning by doing. Hopefully you learn something from this video as well. If you do, great. But if you don't, there's nothing to do. Just go and watch another channel. <laughs> there's nothing to do I can do about that. <laughs> uh, but that's it. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.